Hey y'all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're seeing this video. Welcome to another vlog. So my hair is looking crazy. I'm getting ready to wash my hair. Um, yeah, it's long overdue, y'all. Yeah. Not sure when I'm gonna get done to it, but I know I am gonna wash it. So yeah, there's really nothing on the agenda for today. Um, right now I'm sitting on my computer, working on some videos, doing a little editing. I am washing clothes. I'm on my second load, which is my towels. And then I'm gonna do my sheets. So it's like I have like about maybe four loads of clothes today to wash. Um, not sure if I'll be going walking later on or not. I really haven't made up my mind. I think it's supposed to rain. So it'll depend on the weather. So I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Um, I know I did. <laughs> Just relaxed and chilled around the house. Uh, celebrated my grandson's birthday, first birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get on off here so I can go in and you know, wash this hair of mine. And I will check back in with you guys later. Peace. On top of their sentences delivered by the state of Georgia. On your side, Renata Warrior Live with more this morning and uh, Renata the Men denied. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. So I am home and my grandbabies wanted some shrimp alfredo. So I am here in the kitchen making some shrimp alfredo. Let me show you how it's going. All right, so right now I have my noodles that are boiling that are just about done. Zoom out for you guys. So yeah, my noodles are just about done. And right here, uh-oh, I am making the Alfredo sauce. I have the shrimp, and I didn't take the tail off, y'all, so <laughs> I was like, you know what? Trying to get this dinner on quick, fast, in a hurry. I'm like, y'all gonna have to take the tails off or eat the tails. And I have broccoli in here. So yeah, I'm letting this simmer while my spaghetti pan is cooking. And yeah, dinner. Um, it is, what time is it? 7.18. So dinner should be ready, I'm going to say. Maybe by 7.30, 7.45 at the latest. And I have, oh, <laughs> Some bread, garlic toast in the oven that I'm about to take off, about to take out. So yeah, I had a um, good day at work today. I'm off tomorrow because I have to take the girls to orientation. So yeah, I just decided to take the full day off because they had orientation two days. They have it tomorrow, I believe from 9 to 1 or 9 to 12 and Friday from 1 to 3. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to take both of them tomorrow or one tomorrow, one Friday, but yeah. So I will check back in with you guys later. All right, y'all. So this is what my plate is looking like. I just decided to put it on a paper plate and not a bowl because around here, we don't like washing dishes or I don't like washing dishes. So thanks for joining me on this What's for Dinner and I'll see you on the next one. Hey y'all, welcome to another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Thursday and I have my little munchkins with me. We are on the way headed to orientation. Um, we're walking because their school is like right around the corner from the house. So we are walking to go to orientation. School starts here on Monday. So yeah, got to go and get the rest of their school supplies and stuff. So I will check back in with you guys later. All right, y'all. So I am leaving the school and we were in there for about an hour, <laughs> almost two hours. So I didn't vlog in there because it's a school. So, so now we're headed 
probably to get some school supplies, do some lunch, and head back to the house and finish straighten up. And I'll see you guys later. All right, so me and the girls are about to grab something to eat at this China buffet place. Hopefully it's good. I think we've eaten here one other time. So hopefully it is a uh, good and it's starting to rain. welcome back to my channel so today I'm bringing you a little quick Dollar Tree back to school haul um, took the girls to orientation this morning um, I have a fourth grader and a fifth grader uh, they didn't really have a school supply list except for the fifth grader with some of the stuff I had already purchased anyway so yeah I'm gonna show you what I got in this school stuff slash some of other stuff so first thing my youngest got these pair of socks I don't know and my oldest got a pair of socks too but they were like some owl socks but yeah dollar 25 um I got this for my kitchen this is a little night LED a little LED night light so I'm just gonna stick it in the kitchen instead of burning i forgot to get some light bulbs instead of burning like the over the sink light um yeah i got me some more cotton rounds this is just for my makeup um and when i cleanse my face in the morning and the evening time i was totally out so i prefer these um instead of cotton balls um i needed some more trash bags so i just got these good sense trash bags until I'm able to get to either um, Sam's or BJ's um, I got these batteries here these are the double I needed some more double A batteries just to go back um, in the drawer so I got some double A batteries 
And my oldest, she needed composition books. Um, the teacher was like, they need the composition books, the ones that are black and white. And I'm like, well, as long as it says composition book, it shouldn't matter, I don't think. But yeah, got her two, I think it was a total of three composition books. I got my little grandbaby this little cup. I am trying to, trend, or we're trying to transition him from like the bottle to a cup. And this has, um, it has like the little straw. Because he's good now at drinking it out of a straw. So, yeah. That was blue. Um, I got them this little electric pencil sharpener, and it takes AAA batteries, which I purchased some AAA batteries, but yeah. That is all from that bag. Um, right here, one of them wanted a pencil case, so I got them a pencil case, just for their pencils. My oldest was a fifth grader. I got these pens um, for her. When I went to their orientation, their teacher was like, um, yeah, they're gonna need pens because next year they'll be in sixth grade. And she's like, yeah, we're gonna start transitioning them from using pencils to pens. So, got her that pack of 10, yeah, 10 blue pens. She needed the uh, dividers, the uh, folders that's got the two side pockets. So I got this design. Well, she picked out her own design. So she picked out that one. Um, she picked out this one. And she picked out this one, which all three of them were cute. So yeah. And here are her other two composition books. She got this color and she wanted this color. Also, I thought I had another pack of paper. I thought I got three packs of paper, but I got uh, two packs of the paper here. Um, the oldest one needed two packs and I got the youngest one a pack, but yeah. Two packs of paper. And, y'all, if y'all don't know, well, you probably don't know, but because I, I do a lot of unboxings on my other channel, I am a pen fanatic. So, I got this little pen right here that has like this little watermelon on top. Pens for me have to write a certain way. They, in my hand, they have to feel a certain way and they have to write a certain way. If it doesn't feel or write the way I want it to, yeah, you know, nine times out of ten, it's just gonna sit to her, but I love this little pen. <laughs> um, here's the, I think this is the oldest one, um, pencil case. Basically, it just says girl time, girl power, and on the back, it says hello time. That's cute. And the oldest one wanted a little lunch bag inside a little lunch bag um so got this little lunch bag and on the inside it has that's what it looks like on the inside yeah they picked out all their stuff so um one of them got some earbuds but i didn't even know they got earbuds but they got an earbud they need that school i guess I got these little facial scrubbers right here. I'm gonna try these out and see um, how they work. Basically, it says apply the facial cleanser and use the scrubber to softly massage your face. Um, the small silicone bristles help cleanse pores and exfoliate your skin for a fresh and rejuvenated feel. So yeah, and then it says once finished, rinse the scrubber with warm water to keep it clean. So looking forward to using that. And also, I got the oldest. This is an eight pack. This eight pack of Paper Mate black pens. Like I said, her teacher was like, yeah, we're transitioning them from pencils to using pens. Cause when they get in sixth grade in middle school, that's what they're gonna be using. I can't believe that. Wow, she'll be in sixth grade next year. <laughs> All right, they got some hand sanitizer and this is in the scent coconut and lime. 
I didn't even smell it. Like I said, they picked out their own stuff. Um, I got a thing of this Simply Hand Soap, and this is just for the oldest to take to school um, and for them to keep in their class, and I'll probably get a bigger bottle. Um, here are the AAA batteries for the electric pencil sharpener. Here's the oldest one socks. That is the owl. Those are some cute socks. <laughs> ah, well. Um, got some more wig caps. Needed some more wig caps. So got wig caps. They got a phone grip and stand. Miscellaneous stuff. Oh, okay, here's the other pack of um, notebook paper. And here is the oldest one, hand sanitizer, which is uh, pomegranate and vanilla. And I just get the hand sanitizer. These are big. Normally I get the ones that they can just clip onto their book bag um, and go from there, but I didn't see any of those inside of Dollar Tree or Dollar 25 Tree. And I wanted to try, this is by B Pure. It's a sugar coffee body scrub. And I just wanted to try this to see how it is. Oh, wow. That's what it looks like. It does smell like coffee, but it also smells like it's like a, a candy scent and I can't really put my finger on it. Okay. And I think that is it for our family dog. Let me show you because we also ran in um, Five Below and it just got a couple of things from Five Below. So let me show you all that. Um, I got myself this little, uh, I guess you can call it a little stationary little kit where it has like the months of the week and then it has to-do list, notes and doodles, a notepad with gold foil. I don't know why that light is coming off. I'm sorry y'all about the lighting. And then I got myself this little fidget twirl pen. Like I told y'all, I am a pen fanatic, so I'm gonna see how that writes, how that works. Um, I also got myself this little calculator. I need a bigger calculator. So yeah. Um, also they wanted a book. I told them they could pick out a book and both of them picked out this lunar guide book. About, I guess it's about your signs, the power of sun and moon signs to enhance your relationships with work and life by Lori Reed. Okay. Um, the youngest picked out this candy or was this oldest? I think it was the youngest. Picked out this candy scented mix um, lip gloss. It has like Nerds, Fun Dip, Laffy Taffy, and Gobble Stopper and Pixie Sticks. <laughs> um, and the oldest picked out this Kellogg's um, all together lip balm. So I guess it has Frosted Flakes, Apple Jacks, Rice Krispies, Corn Flakes, Raisin Bran, Mini Wheats, Fruit Loops. Wow. And it was only $5 and the other one was $5 um, at Five Below. And last but not least, she got this phone case for her phone. It's just a crystal phone case. Um, she said it would fit you yeah, 876 plus. All right, y'all. So this was just a little quick um, back to school haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and you already know what to do. Go ahead, um, if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'd love for you to become a part of my family. 
and until the next time you all have a wonderful day bye